Lisa and Jasmine and today with Mara we're going to be talking about this thing called base rate so Jasmine <laughs> could you tell me more about what it is base rate so it's yeah. also known as BR it came into effect uh, the system came into effect um, in 2015 mm -hmm. so what base rate is is that um, all the banks they actually look into this uh, rate to apply the interest rate for your bank loans because you know whenever you take bank loans mm -hmm. there will always be interest rate right mm -hmm. very high interest rate yes. <laughs> yeah so um, all these banks they refer to Bank Nagar's formula mm -hmm. to um, calculate how much these uh, base rates would be Oh. So Bank Nagara's formula is the benchmark for all these banks. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then like all the different individual banks would look at this base yeah. rate. The one from Bank Nagara. Okay, I yeah. see. <laughs> but then how is this rate calculated exactly? Okay, it's usually calculated in a few things, against a few things. Mm -hmm. So there is um, each bank's um, cost of funds. There is the statutory reserve requirement, mm -hmm. which is the SRR. There is the profit margin, operating costs, liquidity premium, <laughs> and mm -hmm. the borrower's credit risk. Yeah, oh. a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But then, would these interest rates be fixed then? Um, no, it won't be fixed mm -hmm. because, as I mentioned just now, like you know, they set Bank Nagara's formula mm -hmm. as the benchmark. So because of that benchmark, um, all the individual banks mm -hmm. they are free to package uh, whatever interest rates that they want to f that best suits mm -hmm. for their customers mm -hmm. and also for their business. Also, oh, they use this ba base rate that's from Bank Nagara just as like. Like a yeah a, a reference a reference a reference and benchmark yeah, yeah. so okay. they can go higher or lower mm. it's it's up to individual banks oh I see so it's not necessarily like the base rate that's set by Bank Nagara won't exactly be the no, interest rate no it's it's not fixed oh, yeah okay I see yeah. Uh, so as you mentioned previously, a lot of individual banks rely on Bank Nagara's base rate as a benchmark for their yeah. own thing. But then, what causes this base rate to change? One of the most um, important thing you have to remember is that um, the base rate is fixed to Bank Nagara's OPR. Mm -hmm. So OPR stands for Overnight um, Policy Rate. Mm -hmm. uh, although the, uh, there is the OPR, right? But um, different banks, they are still uh, allowed to package and fix their own um, base rates. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, then why does the OPR impact the base rate then? Okay, so the OPR is the minimum interest rate for banks because mm -hmm. banks um, loan each other money, right? Mm -hmm. So that's their, you know, their standard mm -hmm. uh, interest rate that they give each other. Um, so whenever OPR rate is cut, uh, they will also lower down their ba uh, BR base rate mm -hmm. um, accordingly. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. it's like so it depends on the banks as well. Yes, because they loan. Money from each other, is it? Exactly. Okay, yeah. I see. Then, how does this impact us as home buyers? Okay, so when the base rate is lowered, mm -hmm. the cost of getting a loan will be lower as well, right? For the banks and for us. So when there is a cut in, mm -hmm. um, you know, getting a loan, obviously the interest rate will go down, mm. right? So mm -hmm. like that also applies to our home um, loans. You know, when we want to get loan, we'll have eventually have a lower interest rate. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the OPR rate, is there anything else that impacts like the base rate? Uh, yes, so it depends on uh, what you agreed on with the bank, like the mm. agreement of your loan. Uh, depends on whether you agreed on having a fixed uh, interest rate mm. or a floating interest rate. Mm. Then what makes a fixed interest rate different from a floating interest rate? Yeah, so for the fixed interest rate, they are usually predetermined. Mm. So because of that, um, banks usually have to bear the cost of the interest rate fluctuating. Mm -hmm. And then um, because of the fluctuation, banks uh, charge you a premium. And that's why fixed interest rate is usually more expensive. Mm. Yeah, and then for the floating interest rate, they, are, they charge um, on a quarterly basis. Um, they also it's also based on what the current market um, interest rate is mm. yeah so, so like a floating interest rate is less risky yeah it's less it risky means. that's why it's cheaper because a premium is not charged mm. on the yeah, okay. floating uh, interest rate see yeah then would all individual banks be looking at like the same base rate for them to refer to 
Um, no, because when there is any changes in your interest rate, it's usually determined internally by the bank. Mm. So that's why you see, you know, like different banks has diff offers different interest rate, mm. and um, yeah, and that's why it's actually usually cost to different set of numbers, different set of formulas and methods of calculating the interest mm. rates for different banks, and because of that. For newbies like us, mm -hmm. when we want to buy a house, it causes a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yeah. true because there's so many different numbers. Yeah, right. And you yeah. don't know which one to to, to yeah. you know, apply for. Yeah. Okay, so it's best to probably get like a financial advisor yeah. or something, right? Yeah, that's that's the better way. Okay, that's true. Yeah. So don't make any mistakes and get a financial advisor if you're not sure. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's it for today. Let's talk about base rate. If you found this video useful or if you're interested in watching any of our other videos, check out our YouTube channel or head on to Myra's social media accounts at underscore Myra or our website, myra.com.my now. Bye! Bye!